I made this 3D printed cycloidal drive with a 20 to 1 reduction ratio for a NEMA 17 stepper motor. The motor I'm using is a pancake style motor, with a rated torque of 16 Newton centimeters, or 0.16 Newton meters. So in theory with the cycloidal drive, the output torque should be 3 Newton meters, which is not bad for this cheap stepper motor. The interesting part of this project is that I used this cycloidal generator that I made. It is available on my website if you want to check it out. The idea with the simulator is that you can play with the different variables and visualize the cycloidal drive. Also, once you are happy with the design, you can download the cycloidal curve in DXF format to export into your CAD package. So let me show you how I used it. The stepper motor casing is 42 by 42 millimeters. I'd like the cycloidal drive to have an outer diameter similar to that. Considering that I will need to include bearings inside the drive, I'll set the ring diameter to be 60 millimeters. I want to have a speed reduction of 20 to 1, so I set the number of external pins to 21. And you can see that this will give me the desired ratio. For the internal pins, I plan to use a 3 millimeter threaded rod, and then bushings around it. The bushing will be 6 millimeters in diameter, so I set that as the output pin diameter. I will set the number of output pins to 6, and increase the output disc diameter. Then, I plan to use a 24 millimeter bearing around the eccentric shaft, so I set that as the camshaft hole diameter. Finally, I increase the eccentricity to a value that seems reasonable. I'm sure some optimizations can be done for this, but for now, I will set it to 1.25 millimeters. The program will also set appropriate limits for all parameters so that the cycloidal profile can be constructed. And then I just download the DXF file. I'll show you how to import it into SOLIDWORKS. I imagine it would be similar to other CAD packages. Once you have the curve imported, you can extrude a regular sketch. However, for my design, I created some offsets to account for tolerances in the 3D prints. And this is what the design looks like. We have two cycloidal discs, offset by 180 degrees. We have three 24mm bearings on the cycloidal discs and the back output disc. As mentioned, I am using six 3mm threaded rods with 6mm bushings to transmit the output torque. And I have a large 78mm ball bearing on the outer diameter to mount the front plate. I think the main issue with this design is that the eccentric shaft tends to slip on the motor shaft. I am using a 2mm set screw but it's not enough. Also, some tolerances can be improved. Let me know if you have any suggestions, I may make a better version and test the torque output. Also, let me if you want me to make the 3D files available. Finally, I also made a harmonic drive and a planetary gear simulator if you want to check those out. 